Hey everyone and welcome to the Retro Channel and today we are once again hacking the Rigol DHO 804 oscilloscope. I've previously shown this on the channel for firmware version 1.01 where we can upgrade the bandwidth and the memory depth options but for version 1.02 which is now available as of the start of 2024 I think uh, the procedure has changed and the hacks I showed in the previous video don't work on the current version of the firmware. Of course this could change again when we go to 1.03 assuming Rigol releases another update so it's always worth checking on the EV blog forums which I'll have linked in the video description along with other things that you'll need to hack this scope and of course this may void your warranty you may brick your scope your house might burn down who knows but uh, so far a lot of people have done it as far as I'm aware and there hasn't been any major issues so let's take a look at what we need to do to hack firmware version 1.02 First things first, as this scope is still running 1.01, .01, I've got a big red blob here which has been there for the last few months and that is telling me that there's an update for the next firmware version which of course is 1.02. So I'm going to accept this because that blob has been annoying me for quite some time. And I assume it's now downloading it. Now, of course, if you're already on 1.02, you don't need to worry about this. And I think you can also download the firmware update off Rigol's website and apply it that way. Right, so it looks like the firmware update was successful. We are now on firmware version 1.02. And what's kind of interesting is it still shows max bandwidth of 100 megahertz. So it's still reporting that we've got the bandwidth option unlocked. I wonder if it says anything about the memory depth option. Where is it? No, that's disappeared from there. And if we look in here, oh, we've still got the option of 50 meg points. Well, either way, I don't know whether to trust that or not, and the idea of this video is to show how to hack firmware version 1.02, so let's continue on with that. So we need to be able to access the scope over the network, so you can either use the Ethernet port back here and plug that into your router, or you can use a Wi-Fi dongle like this one. I've done a video on how to set this up previously, so I'll link that up there. Once you're connected to your network, you should be able to see an IP address if we look under I.O., and I've got an IP address of 192.168.1.115. Obviously yours may be different. So now we know the IP address for the scope, we're gonna head over to the computer and get set up. Now I am using a Windows machine to do this and the first thing we need is ADB. So I'm gonna grab the minimal ADB and fastboot tools and just download that. The other thing we're gonna need is Rigol Vendor Bin, which is over on GitHub. And uh, you can of course have a look through the readme file. And once you've done that, head over to the releases and grab the latest EXE version. Now that we've downloaded both of those, we're gonna extract ADB. I'm just gonna put this in a folder called Rigol, and I'm gonna move the Rigol vendor bin file that we just downloaded into that folder as well. Then we're just gonna open up a command window here, and we'll use ADB to connect to our scope. So we need ADB connect, and then our scope IP address, which in my case is 192.168.1.115, and we need to specify port number 55555. That is the same for all of these. You should get a message saying connected. If you don't, then double check your network connection and also the IP address of your scope. The next thing we're going to do is use ADB to pull a couple of files from our scope. So we're going to type ADB pull and then forward slash Rigol forward slash data forward slash vendor dot bin. You should get a message saying one file pulled and if we do that command again, but this time grab capital R capital K E Y. So R key dot data or is it key dot data? Ah, well it appears mine wasn't rkey.data, it's actually key.data. I think that may be because I've already previously hacked this scope. I'm not 100% sure, but if rkey.data doesn't work, then try key.data. Either way, you should now have those two files in the current directory. Now we just run the Rigol vendor bin executable that we downloaded. And if you look over on the GitHub, you can see the various options for what you can do with this thing. I think the main ones people will want to use is either dash O, which just generates all the extra options for the current model. So this will remain a DHO 804 just with all the unlocked features or dash capital M, which actually sets the scope to a different model. So we can change this into a DHO 900 series and that'll unlock all the options automatically, plus give us a couple extra. So I'm going to go the whole hog and use the dash M command and we're going to change this to a DHO 924. 
Once that's done, it'll give you a new vendor file called vendor.enc. So we need to rename that to vendor.bin and push that back to the Rigol scope. What I'm going to do is rename our original one. So vendor.bin, that was the first one that we grabbed off the scope. I'm just going to call that vendor.old. And then we can rename vendor.enc to vendor.bin. All we need to do now is just push our file back to the same location. So adb push forward slash rigol forward slash data forward slash vendor dot bin. Ah, I got that wrong. So it should be adb push and then the file name, so vendor dot bin, and then the directory that we want to place it. That's it. And that should be all we need to do on the computer. The last thing to do is just reboot the scope. Right, our scope has restarted and as you can see everything looks pretty normal except for this extra button down here which is for a logic analyzer and that normally sits down here on the 900 series. Of course the 800 series doesn't have that but because the scope now thinks it's a 900 series it's put that button there. Not a big deal and of course touching it just tells you to insert the logic analyzer probe. Let's have a look in our utility menu. And in the About tab, we can see that we have DHO 924, max bandwidth of 250 megahertz. I think people have tested the 800 series with this hack and got about 225 to possibly 250 megahertz. So definitely a huge improvement over the 70 megahertz. And of course, if we head up here, we should still have our 50 meg point memory depth. So that should be it. Our scope has now been hacked to a 900 series. A huge thanks to the people on the EV blog forum for coming up with these hacks and uh, documenting how to do them. I'm just the messenger here, so um, don't shoot me if you brick something. But um, like I said at the start of the video, you're doing this at your own risk. Of course, when the next firmware update comes, this could all change again. So if you're on something higher than 1.02, then you might want to check the EV blog forums first. But that is it for this one, so enjoy your new upgraded scope, and uh, thank you all for watching, and a huge thanks to the people that support the channel on Patreon. If you want to do the same, you'll get ad-free early access, and links to that are down below. But that's it for me, so thanks for watching. Bye.